Alright, hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I guess it's been a pretty long time since I've last done a video. But anyways, I'm back. So in today's video, I'm going to review on this skincare product by Kiehl's. So first of all, I would love to thank Kiehl's Malaysia for sending over this clearly collective, collective, corrective collection. <laughs> First of all, I want to thank Kiehl's Malaysia for sending me this clearly corrective collection. I was so happy when I received this from the mail because honestly speaking, I have never ever tried anything, any kinds of skincare products from Kiehl's before. So I heard a lot of positive reviews and a lot of the people that I know are using Kiehl's skincare. Alright, so I'm just going to show you guys how it looks like inside. Alright, oh, so there's a description cardboard and yes they are under the miniature size so this is how it looks like this is actually to promote one of their latest product which is also known as the dark spot solution so this is really suitable for people that have skin conditions such as dark spots hyperpigmentation uneven skin tone and also acne marks and behind the card also shows on how to use this whole set all right so we're gonna proceed using all this step by step and at the same time i'm going to talk about each of these products so let's go okay so i'm done cleansing off whatever is on my face earlier with an oil makeup remover so it's really important to double cleanse your face and there's this little guy here which is so annoying oh my god so the first step is to use this clearly corrective brightening and exfoliating daily cleanser put a bit out and see how it looks like oh my god so this product contains white birch, which is known to soothe sensitive, irritated skin and with pearl stone, which is known as a natural exfoliant I'm just gonna use this on my skin Okay, it is a scrub and when you're using a scrub, it's best to avoid areas like this you don't want to irritate it too much So I'm done washing off the cleanser on my face So far, it doesn't feel really tight It feels quite normal so good. Next, we are going to use this treatment water. The key ingredient to this treatment water are activated C, which is known as stabilized type of vitamin C, white birch extract, and licorice roots. So the licorice roots is known for its soothing and calming properties, which is beneficial for soothing and refining the skin texture for enhanced clarity. This product actually contains illuminating minerals which provide soothing hydration to give the skin a soft glow. I'm just gonna give a closer look. If you can see there's like holographic kind of thingy inside there. Those are actually known as illuminating minerals. So to use this treatment water, gently shake this product to create a swirl so that the illuminating minerals distribute evenly. Just have to open this thing up. Wow, it kind of smells like herb smells. Maybe it's by the licorice roots. I personally prefer using my palms because it's convenient and it's faster as well. So I'm gonna apply it all over my face. Oh my god, I kind of hit my face. It's like all the pimples are coming out. And the next step is this dark spot solution, which is our main VIP for today. So the product is formulated with activated C, buffered salicylic acid, and peony extract. So I'm just going to take a few drops and put it on my hand. Maybe three drops will do, yeah. Okay, so far so good, I guess. Yeah. So I have like dark spots right here and I hope this product actually works on my skin. For this dark spot solution, it is actually recommended to use it during the day and night. So the next step is this brightening and soothing moisturizer. So this product has a velvety appearance. The smell is also very soothing and relaxing. It kind of has like cooling sensation when you smell this product. So I'm just gonna take a few and apply it on my skin. The key ingredients of this product are the activated C, white birch extract, and glycolic acid, which is one of the acids derived from sugarcane and prevents dehydration and rough skin texture. So it is recommended to use this 2-3 to three times per week by day and night. You can also apply a second layer on this on your face before you go to sleep like an overnight mask. Oh, and it says here sunburn alert, which means after using this product, it's best to pair it up together with the sunscreen, which I'm going to talk about it later. So this is the sunscreen that I'm going to use, which is known as Ultralight Daily UV Defense. This is how the sunscreen looks like. 
So this product contains vitamin E and bakelin, which is known for its antioxidant properties, which is really good to protect your own skin and from breakdowns. So my skincare is all done. It's really important to wear sunscreen, especially during indoors, because the UV lights will still penetrate into your home and to your skin. Alright, so I'm all done with all the steps of this clearly corrective skincare collection. So far, it feels really okay. It feels pretty fine. There's no weird sensation, no skin tightening effects. So far, it's all good. Just gonna try this for the next 7 to 14 days to see if there are any changes on my skin and I will tell you guys about the results as well. Alright guys, so this is day one of me applying the Clearly Corrective collection. And I actually apply on my face already for almost the whole day since noon until now. So this is how my skin looks like. Can you see the dots on my face? And even on my neck as well. And it kind of reminds me of the reaction that has came out after using a vitamin C serum. So technically, I'm actually allergic to vitamin C serum. And I do not recommend to use this serum every day. And yes, I already applied sunscreen after I use other products because it says that you really need to apply sunscreen after the moisturizer. And there it is. All these reactions are coming up right away. So yeah, conclusion is I'm still allergic to products that contain vitamin C or activated C. Okay guys, I'm back. I want to be honest with the reviews. Apparently, I didn't finish off the two weeks trial of this collection. In fact, I've dragged almost a month to finish filming this video. Because I just thought that yeah, it's a review and you know, not all reviews are perfect anyways. I even tried to use it a few days after my skin recovered and the same reaction came out again. It has this kind of stinging effect and a burning sensation all over my face. So I had to stop using this to prevent my skin from becoming any worse. Now don't get me wrong, this product range is really good and perfect for the people who are seeking for dark spot reduction and skin brightening. But then I just realized on what could have gone wrong. Well, it turns out that I'm a person that has a sensitive type of skin. Mm. And I'm also allergic towards the skincare products that contain vitamin C content. Around a year ago, I actually had the same kind of reaction when I started using a serum that contains mainly vitamin C. So then my skin would slowly react badly towards it. My skin would start to feel very dry and scaly. I actually didn't really pay attention to it because, you know, I just thought it was like the weather or something else. To the point where my whole face becomes swollen and the rashes came out. They were itchy and painful at the same time. So in the end, I have to see a skin specialist and they provided me with um, steroids medicine and some cream soap to, you know, wash off my face. It only took like one or two weeks for my skin to come back to normal again. So whoever encounters similar issues like me, I feel you, hun. I do. So according to an article that I found on Harper's Bazaar website, for L-ascorbic acid to be stable in water, which in this case a vitamin C serum, it must be formulated at a very low pH. The sensitive reaction occurred is due to extremely low pH, which is also known as very acidic. And if you have a sensitive skin, this can affect the skin's compatibility, increasing its exfoliating functions and weakens the barrier properties. Hence, the more potent the structure of the vitamin C, the more irritating for those with sensitive skin may experience. It is recommended not to mix with these ingredients if you are using a vitamin C product as it can actually lower the effectiveness of the vitamin C and it can cause skin irritation as well. Examples are like AHA, BHA, which are known as acids and chemical exfoliants, benzoyl peroxide, retinol, and niacinamide, also known as vitamin B3. So keep in mind to check out the ingredient list before buying a skincare product. There are a few alternatives that provide the same benefits as vitamin C that are gentle on sensitive skin. They are niacinamide, Indian ginseng, carotenoids, vinifarin, and alpha arbutin. The best tip is to consult a dermatologist for the safest recommendation to decide which ingredients will be the most compatible and effective for your skin type.
So overall, it is a big no from me for this product range. Fortunately, I also found a few friends that are using this range and I actually asked them about their experiences. So far, none of them actually complain about any skin issues or irritations. At the end of the day, it depends on the individual's skin type. If you have a normal skin type of condition and your skin does not react sensitively towards any kinds of products, I do suggest trying out this dark spot solution range because I've seen a lot of positive reviews coming from this collection. So all these are actually available in Kiehl's Malaysia offline and online stores. So do check out the products if they pique your interest. So I think that's all for today's video. If you like my video, make sure to click the subscribe button, like this video and share it out for support. And I'm also gonna have a few videos coming out soon, I hope. Can't wait for you guys to watch them soon. So I guess I'll see you in my next video and thank you for watching. Bye guys!